everyone, this is Yolanda from the All Crafts channel. It's so great to have you here today. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this uh, crochet, this Celtic weave hat. Uh, these are used a medium weight yarn uh, and a uh, J hook, which is a six millimeter. I hope you'll enjoy the tutorial. Please be sure to watch it all the way to the end because I do have a surprise announcement at the end. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get that party started. Okay, to begin with, this is, I'm going to pretend this is my head, of course. Um, this is not the same size as my head. But what you're going to do is you're going to just measure around the crown of your head and just see how big it is, okay? For me, I'm going to make one that is about 18 inches. This one says 20, 21. But this is more like the size of a man's head. But, so what you would do is just keep adding rows into your piece is about maybe an inch to two inches less than your measurements so that it will stretch okay so here i'm just going to start and i'm going to do eight chains and you could measure how wide that um brim is by putting it up against you know your head or your whatever you're measuring it against so here i'm going to just start with a regular chain this is my slip loop. Remember, this doesn't count as a chain. And then I'm just going to wrap my yarn around the hook and bring it through. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. But now I need one more so that I could turn my work. You can see how wide the broom is going to be by putting it on. Just checking it up against your head or against the person that you're making it for. So here's eight. One more. Now I'm going to start making a single crochet in every chain uh, beginning at the second chain from the hook. Remember, this doesn't count as a chain. So here's one, two. To make a single crochet, you just get your hook, put it into that chain, grab the yarn. You'll have two loops on here and you pull through both loops. That's your first single crochet. Go to the next one and we're going to repeat that all the way down. The first row is always kind of a little bit more awkward because there's less to hold on to. So I'm going to go ahead and go all the way down. Okay here I've come to the end. So I've done my last single crochet. You should have the same amount which is eight single crochets to go up Oh, excuse me, I'm going to just chain one, turn my work over, and now if you see the chain, you could see here that there's two little loops. Let me move my hook out of the way here. And you could see here that the chain has one front loop and one back loop. We're going to be working only in the back loop. Let me get my yarn here. Getting tangled up here. So here's the chain. Here's the first single crochet I'm going to go in the back loop only and working in the back loop only is going to give me a little ridge effect here's my next one I'm going to go in the back loop only because if you look at the chain it looks like it's got um, like the stitch like there's a little V we're only going to go into the back loop of that top so here's another one you could see it there I'm going to go only into the back one I hope that makes sense. And this is going to create that ridge. So I'm going to do that all the way down. When I get to the end, I'm just going to chain one, turn my work over, and keep doing the same thing. And I'm going to keep working for myself when I measured it. It's probably going to be about, maybe my work may be, uh, I like to make it a little bit stretchy, so I will probably do it till it's about 18, 18 and a half inches long. And what I mean by that is until this piece measures from the beginning to the end about maybe 18 and a half inches or so. And this is going to be kind of creating, see you could kind of already see that little ridge right there. It's going to be creating that ridge. So I'm going to keep on working once again here only in the back loop, not the front. And I will meet you here when my piece is the right measurement, okay? Let's just okay so here I have finished the 68 rows 
Um, if you uh, crochet a little bit tighter or looser, you may have to do less rows. But here, I just wanted to be able to go across my head. I mean around my head just like this you're gonna get your head make sure or the person who you're making with for let me put it around here and see you want to be able to go all the way around and then just kind of maybe stretch a little bit but not where they're pulled out you could still see the ribs on it see so here so once again to recap we started with eight single uh, eight chains then we did one more which nine turned our work over and started doing our um, single crochets and I just worked on, on the back loop of the chain and now you can see when it's all done that it's it's created that little rid, ribbing okay so this is for this um, stitch the multiples are four so for this hat I had ended up with 68 rows so then I could have enough rows to be able to divide all my stitches by four now here I'm going to go ahead and join these together and in this I'm just gonna join it with a slip stitch let me get the camera a little bit closer so you could see better I hope it helps okay so here is my working yarn here is the end now here I'm going to join them but on this side Remember, I only had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So I'm going to be joining them here on the back of this little loop where we started. I'm just going to go through it, slip stitch, now go through the next one, back loop, and then the little loop there, slip stitch. What I mean by slip stitches is I'm not wrapping anything around. Just going to go straight through there. And this is going to give me the amount of little rows uh, I need to be able to use 68, uh, to make 68 double crochets. Now you don't have to, um, if you have a different um, size, like you're making it for a man, you might need to go to like 74, 72, 74 rows. Um, and then you would just need to make sure that you're going to be able to have your um, multiple of four. And if you need to add more double crochets or subtract them, you can. Since this is going to be on the same stitch here, this tail I will sew in later. So here you can see that I've joined it there. Okay. So now you have your circle. Now we're going to go ahead and go up and start doing a uh, double crochet in every row. So this one is hard to see, but let me show you. Like this is a row here. This is another one. This is another. So every little ridge has two. So it's be one double crochet here, one double crochet there, one here, one there. So that you will end up with your 68. So here I'm going to go up. I'm going to go one two and three and here oh, excuse me yeah one two three and then here is where I joined it so that's my first row so I'm going to go there that chain three counts as my first double crochet so there's one I'm going to do another one here and every little thing but I'm not going to go in that last chain I'm going to go under a little bit because I don't want it to have a big hole there so here's the next one. And I'm going to keep going like that all the way around. So here, you can see I have a double crochet here. And on the other one, double crochet. Right here is going to be the next stitch. So I'm going to double crochet. And then the next stitch here, double crochet. I'm going to go around in every row. And I want to end up with 68 double crochets. Oops, I don't know if I, I forgot to explain the double crochet. I'm sorry. So here for the double crochet, you yarn over, meaning you wrap the hook around your the yarn around your hook. You go into your space, grab the yarn. There'll be three loops on the yarn on the of yarn on the hook. You go through two, 
and the second two and that makes a double crochet so I'm going to continue all the way around until I have all of my 68 stitches okay so here I have come to the last double crochet and I'm going to slip stitch into that third chain now uh, now we are going to begin the uh, rows with the pattern on it so here the crisscrossing rows so here I'm going to chain three to go up one two three and I'm just kind of ignoring this little line here I'm going to skip the first two double crochets and I'm going to work a treble crochet front post on these three and four and then come back and work the one and two to do a treble crochet you're going to wrap uh, twice instead of one so you go one two you can hold it a little bit there so it doesn't get lost and we're going to go into the third chain uh, excuse me third double crochet post through the front grab our yarn and I know it's kind of a little bit hard to get it out there so they're going to have four little loops of yarn on your hook one two three four we're going to pull through the first two that'll give you three pull through the next two that will give you two and then the last two okay so it's going to look like this once more wrap it around twice go into the next double crochet post and now we're going to do the same thing for the first two second two and the last two and that creates our double crochets now we're going to go back and work the ones we skipped and once again we're going to go now to one through the front on top of the other stitches every other row we're going to switch this direction the next row will go behind the stitches we just did oops let me see did I do that right let me take that off and do it again sorry about that one two I got distracted by talking <laughs> okay so there's our four stitches st four loops excuse me one two three do the next one one two the next stitch that goes over there pull it out one two three so this is the pattern we're going to do going around it almost looks like that crisscross beanie i did a few years ago so now we're going to do the same thing you can see the, st the stitches that have been work because you can see the post in there so now we're going to skip one two and then three four we're going to work it the same wrap it twice go around two three and we're going to do this all the way around remember for this pattern to work you need to have multiples of four okay let me get my yarn here wrap it twice now go to the ones I skipped over the top okay the next row we're going to go to the back but right here right now we're going over the top grab our yarn the four loops there one two then three once again wrap it twice go to the next stitch we skipped pull it out one two and three so that's our second repeat now we're going to do that all the way around so I would skip the next two and if you get confused just look at it just touch them oh this one has a stitch on it so that's not the one I'm skipping I'm going to skip one two then three four is where I'm going to work and as you're working your rows if you feel a little confused just touch it or tug on it to see is there a stitch hanging out to there this one already has a stitch so it has not been skipped okay so just like this I'm going to continue all the way around one last time here on the first and the second and then we'll come back and work our second pattern row and the second pattern row after we finish that one we just go back and repeat the first pattern row okay so here I've come to my last set here so now to close and to go on to the next row I'm just going to go one two three I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch not into that third chain okay so I'm just going to go ahead and go in there slip stitch and now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to skip the first four um, 
stitches. So here's there's two behind this, so here's one, two. These two will finish work on the end when we're coming around the the round of the uh, hat, and then these two, one, two are in front. Now, for this first row, your stitches uh, that we're working in these went over to the top. So let me show you what I mean by that. Here to begin, we're going to go one, two, and three. Now we're going to skip one, two, three, four. And now these next ones, one, two, is where we're going to begin. But these were always the ones that are slanted uh, in this direction are always going to be worked on top on this row. And then the ones that are slanted in the opposite direction, this way, we're going to work through the back. So here, I'm going to yarn over twice. So I have my three loops there. I'm going to go into this first stitch here. I'm going to go in still from the front. See what I mean by you're going around the post. One to the first two, second two, and the last two. And now we're going to work the next stitch again. One, two, through the front post. One, two, and then three. So now when we're going to work these, the last time that, because we're going to work the two we skipped, the last time we just came like this and went over the top, this time we're going to go through the back so that we can start creating our weaved look. So um, it might be easier for you to just like put your thumb in there or something. I hold this with my index finger and then I'm going to go under to the back and then over the top of these. Okay, so I'm just trying to grab it there. You're going to bring it back up. I know it's a little bit confusing. Oops. Okay, so now for that, now we're going to work the last two that we skipped. But instead of just going over the top like this, we're going to work underneath these two front posts. And it kind of helps if you kind of move them out of the way. And then you could come up here. You're going to go around. You still have your four loops there. You're going to go through the first two, second two. So I almost split the yarn there and the last two. So see, we're still going around the front of the post, but we're working from behind these other ones. So every other row, we're going to be doing that. The other rows all go through the top. Okay, so here, one, two. Once again, I'm going to go here underneath, grab my yarn. It kind of, it's easier to pull them to the front. Come up. There's my four loops. I'm going to go through the first two loops, the second two loops, and the last three. So now here, we are doing our stitches. They're still crossing, but now it's kind of like if it was woven underneath here. You could kind of look at that. It gives it that little weave look. So now we're going to do repeat the same thing. We're going to now we're just going to skip these two, and we're going to work on the two that are behind those. We're going to work on the posts that are slanting this way. So here, we're going to go ahead, skip these two. And if you're not sure if you've worked these, just look at them. There's stitches there already. So we're going to go one, two, skip that, and we're going to go three and four. Go through the top. Two, three. I'll put a time stamp so you can see when you're going to be repeating them you can go back and check and see how we did that so one two and three now once again we're going to work the ones that we skipped these two that we skipped going underneath two go underneath now you could grab this you can move these forward and then you're going to Go down underneath. I'm trying to go slowly so you could see what I'm doing. First two, second two, our last two. Do the next one we skipped. Wrap around twice. Go underneath these stitches. Under the front post there. To the front post. Grab our yarn. There's the four loops. One, two, and three and you're going to continue doing that all the way around 
and then we're going to come back and work these two that we skipped in the beginning so once again I'm going to skip these next two work these two through the front then work these skip ones working behind the post that I just completed so I'm going to go ahead and finish that uh, do that whole round and we'll come back and work on the next um, stitch our next row together okay here I'm coming to the end of the round and now we have this one two and then these two that we skipped at the beginning I'm just ignoring that chain three I'm not worrying about that so here I'm going to yarn over twice and then I'm going to work the last two that I had skipped and I could you can see that there's no stitches around that post so here I'm going to go my first treble crochet right there then the second one so it's like behind that other post two three okay now I'm going to go back and work these two also from behind one two three this one twice again there's my four loops there one two three okay so that's the end of the round so here once again I had put a stitch marker just to remind me when I'm come to the um, and you don't have to do that but here we're going to slip stitch on top of that first double crochet not in the chain three okay not in the starting chain so here I'm slip stitching and then I'm just going to repeat what I did in not this this previous round the round before that so here I'm going to go one two three I'm going to skip the first four stitches one two three four and then I'm going to work these here the next ones right because we're skipping one little set one two three four and then here one two we're going to work these and remember these that are leaning in this direction or this direction always go work from the front but now that we're in this second repeat the second repeat row all of them are going to be done from the top okay because the previous row we worked it from behind and so these rows will probably go a lot faster because now we're trying you can kind of see that the weave pattern is kind of starting to show so now instead of going behind these we're just going to go ahead across and grab these two little stitches there you can see that there's nothing around there so you're going to yarn over twice get that stitch and do your treble crochet one two and three I'll move my fingers I guess I'm just used to doing it like that and then you're going to go so one two and three so these are both here on the top I'm going to put my stitch marker just because I I know it's easy to get confused so I hope I geez was that in the camera let me do one more set for you I taught her stay in the focus of the camera so here one two now I'm going to skip these two go to the next ones remember all of these are going through the top now the previous row you did one on the the first one set you did on top and then the other ones you did behind those posts to make the weaving design but now here we're going to go into these two that we skipped through the top so one two here's the first stitch we skipped so there's one two and then three Let's again wrap around twice go around that post I have my four loops there I'm going to go through the first two the next two and the last two and you're going to repeat that all the way around just now you can see how it looks like it's weaving in and out it's that optical illusion so that once you get to here to the end you're going to do repeat the same thing we did here you're going to finish the last uh, these last two stitches and then you're going to go back and grab these two and then you're going to slip stitch into that third stitch chain three start once again skipping the first four one two three four and then this time these go through the top and then the next these would go behind I'm going to put the timestamp so you could see 
how I showed you how to do that and you can go back to that part of the video um, but like I had said before I always recommend you finish it you watch the whole video first and then that way you get a better idea of what's going on so I'm going to go ahead and repeat that okay here I've done my last row repeat so I did eight rows um, repeating that two row uh, pattern four times so here I'm coming to the end now here we're going to start working on shaping the decreases and the top of the head uh, of the hat excuse me so here now uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this off and then on top of that first double crochet I'm just going to start doing one single crochet in every stitch okay so here I'm going to put the stitch marker just to remind me where it's at. Look at the stitch marker matches the yarn. So then here's the next one. The next stitch. The next stitch. You're just doing one single crochet all the way around. Okay. And then in the next three rows, we will work a decrease. Okay. So here's the next stitch behind the first two and we're just trying to get this nice little row here so that we can start getting our shape for the top so here that's what, all you're going to do is you're going to go around the whole hat in every stitch do a single crochet okay here I've come to the end of the round so here now I have one single crochet in every stitch and the reason I didn't start doing my decreases here is because I don't want to um, mess up the stitch pattern. I want it to look nice and defined. So here I'm going to go ahead and take off this stitch marker. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into there and then I'm going to chain two, one, two and then here I'm going to start doing some um, decreases. So here on these first two I'm going to do a double crochet decrease. So I'm going to yarn over, prep, that means wrapping my yarn over my hook. I'm going to go into this first stitch, pull out my yarn, and I'm going to go into the next stitch, pull out my yarn. I'm going to go through the first three stitches, three loops, excuse me, and then the second loop. If you learn how to do a decrease differently and you feel more comfortable, then go ahead and do it the way um, you feel comfortable. This is the way I'm doing it. So I'm going to yarn over. Go over in my next stitch without yarning over I'm going to go in the next one some people yarn over so that I'm going to pull through the first three loops and then the second two loops so that's my second decrease right there I'm going to work that do that all the way around I'm going to do a decrease in every two stitches so I'm turning two stitches into one and I'm going to do this for three rows so three rounds here. You can see the first stitch here is the single crochet and you're just seeing the de decreases right there. Okay. It won't close up completely. We'll have to gather the top. So don't get worried. So here I'm going to go ahead and continue doing that. And I'm going to do that all the way around. When I come to the end here, I'm going to slip stitch on the top of the third chain there. Not the top of the first double crochet, the top of here chain two and then start doing the decreases once again so let me go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you how we work the next row okay so here I finished doing my three rows of decreases one two three here's my first stitch there so I'm going to slip stitch into this stitch into the second chain okay and now let me show you the top Oops. I think I caught that little string there. Okay, so now you could see that we have an opening on the top. I don't know if you could see it that well there. Let me see if I could focus this better. It doesn't seem to be focused quite right. Okay, so you could see the little hole. So now I'm going to cut my yarn, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to just sew around there. Okay, sorry guys. Pull this through there. I'm going to get my needle, just a tapestry needle. And let me put my hat in here so maybe you could see better what I'm doing. So now all I'm going to go is just go through these little stitches in and out, in and out. 
all the way around in out in out just like that and then I could pull it shut you see how it just shuts it up nice and sh tight there then I'm going to push this through to the inside just like this you pull it nice and tight now it's all nice and closed and then you can go ahead and so across a couple more times if you want and then I'm going to make a knot once you make the knot you can go ahead and just kind of try to sew in weave in your tail so it wasn't won't come out anymore come back a couple of times and just cut that I can flip this over back and your hat is done see if you just go the trick is not um, try not to go super fast just take your time and get your hat done it's better that you be able to go through all the stitches I mean could create the stitches this yarn although it's kind of interesting because it, although it is um, the same brand it was a little thicker than this color and so, you know, even with the color, sometimes you get a little bit, either that or my hand was more tired with this because I did it tighter. I hope you enjoy this video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little bell and check for the notifications so that you can be notified of the new videos. Thank you for staying all the way to the end of the video. I did say I had a surprise for you. So my surprise is that I'm going to be giving away these hats to somebody who watched the video. In order to be eligible to win, you need to just hit the like button and um, just write why you want to win it or just say, I like the hat, I, I want to win. You have to put on, on this video, I want to win in the comments. And then I'll choose a winner, two winners from the comments. I'm going to wait for 10 days. After the 10th day, I'll choose a randomly choose two people, contact them, and then they'll have 24 hours to let me know that they know they want and they want their hat. So thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and remember always that God loves you. Thank you so much.